Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we are diving into some exciting news including what Call of Duty Mobile had to say about the Alchemy Stars camo coming to the global version, details on the next test server, and the upcoming double legendary draw that will also be available in the global version. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all the latest news. The hottest topic over the past couple of weeks has definitely been the Alchemy Stars camo and how global players feel they have been treated unfairly. It's the only version of Call of Duty Mobile that didn't get access to this brand new camo. Both the Chinese and Garena versions received it and they also got the new Zombies mode, Darkness Infiltration. Meanwhile, global players were left out of both. Naturally, this has made a lot of people upset and many have been calling on Call of Duty Mobile to release the Alchemy Stars camo in the global version as well. The frustration is understandable since since it feels like the global version is missing out on content that's available elsewhere. I also made a couple of videos showing how easy it is to unlock the Alchemy Stars camo, especially if you're a casual player who doesn't aim to unlock every camo. I also discussed potential changes they could make to implement this camo in the global version, even if they don't bring the full Alchemy Stars collaboration to the global. For weeks, there wasn't any positive response from Call of Duty Mobile regarding this issue, until today when they officially made a statement addressing the situation. Call of Duty Mobile officially responded, stating they're happy to see the excitement around the Alchemy Stars event and camo. However, for now, this event is being tested in select Asian countries due to partnerships specific to that region. They often run tests in certain areas and if the event is successful, they roll it out globally. They understand the global player's frustration and desire for this event and they are actively exploring how to bring the best elements of the event to all players in a future season. This is definitely a positive step since Call of Duty Mobile has finally acknowledged the demand for the Alchemy Stars camo unlike before when they seemed unaware of the global player's concerns. However, the fact that they mentioned rolling it out in a future season clearly indicates that the camo won't be coming to the global version anytime soon. This means global players will likely have to wait a few more months as the game's seasonal plans are typically set well in advance and sudden changes are unlikely. The next two months are jam-packed with major events in Call of Duty Mobile. The fifth anniversary season is just around the corner, which will likely be loaded with exclusive content, events and special rewards. And and immediately after, we move into the holiday season with Christmas, another event they have undoubtedly planned well in advance. Given these major milestones, it's highly unlikely we'll see the Alchemy Stars camo in the global version for at least the next few months. It seems like they have already locked in content for these big events, so squeezing in the Alchemy Stars collaboration right now doesn't seem feasible. It's something to look forward to in future seasons, but for now, players will need to stay patient. But here's the thing, COD Mobile hasn't promised it's coming, but they did say they are exploring ways to bring the best elements of the event to all players. It's a vague statement, but we'll just have to see what happens. And if they don't bring it, well, we can always remind them what the community actually wants. The Alchemy Stars camo is special because it's the only camo after Diamond that covers the entire weapon, and it can be unlocked by grinding. So global players absolutely deserve this camo, and we should continue to push for it until we get it. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comments. Do you think we'll get the camo in a future season or do you think they'll hold it back? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now the only thing that gives me hope about the Alchemy Stars camo coming to the global version of Call of Duty Mobile is the fact that this camo originally existed in Call of Duty way before the collaboration even happened. They just named it Alchemy Stars for this event. That alone is a really good sign that it's going to make its way to the global version eventually. It might take some time since they haven't given us any clear timeline. But but I do believe it's coming, we just have to be patient for now. Now since we didn't get the Alchemy Stars camo, there's been some doubt about whether we are getting the double legendary draw featuring the legendary Holger 26 and the legendary HVK 30 in the global version. This is quite a special draw because it doesn't feature a character skin and comes with a brand new layout. Luckily according to leakers on duty, this draw is surprisingly coming to the global version as well. So since it's making a return, let's take a closer look at the items we can expect in this special lucky draw. Let's see start with the main rewards in this draw. When you think about a double legendary draw, the first question that comes to mind is how it counts toward prestige weapon progress. If you're planning to invest in a double legendary draw, you'll want to know what to expect. Unlike previous double legendary draws, this one works a bit differently. Instead of pulling single items, the rewards are treated as groups. This means that the main reward is a legendary weapon group, which includes both legendary skins. So when you pull this group, you'll get both legendary weapons at once. The odds for this group are the usual 0.08%. Next, we have the Epic Weapon Group, which has a 1.25% chance. This group will give you both the AK-47 and the Tundra. 
The legendary Holger 26 has a unique look that's quite different from the original. It features a crystal ice theme that gives it an otherworldly feel, perfectly fitting with the vibe of the Alchemy Stars collaboration. The design is absolutely stunning and I can already tell it's going to be a fan favorite. Additionally, this blueprint will come with exclusive Chinese and Japanese voiceovers, adding to its appeal. Let's also take a look at how it will look with different camos. Next up we have the legendary HVK-30, which has a theme that's the complete opposite of the Holger 26. While the Holger is all about that icy look, the HVK is designed with a fire theme. Honestly, both blueprints share a similar design, with the main differences being their color schemes and overall themes. But let me tell you, the weapon inspection for the HVK-30 is truly impressive. In fact, it's significantly longer than the one for the Holger 26, adding even more flair to this fiery weapon. One detail I absolutely love about the HVK-30 is how they designed the iron sides to look like demonic horns. This blueprint will also feature exclusive Chinese and Japanese voiceovers, making it even more exciting. Now let's take a look at how this legendary HVK will look with different camos. In addition to the legendary items, this draw will also include some epic blueprints like the LW3 Tundra and a sleek new AK-47 skin. Check them out one more time before we see them in-game. It's worth noting that these epic skins also come with voiceovers, which is a pretty cool feature. This draw will drop tomorrow and will be available until November 10th, giving you a whole month to grab this special lucky draw. Make sure you don't miss out on these amazing rewards. The Season 10 beta test server has been announced. This test server will feature content from both season 10 and 11 giving us a sneak peek at what's coming. We can expect exciting new updates, including gameplay for the new battle royale map and the Uzi weapon, possibly even its mythic variant if we get one. The Chinese beta test server will be live from mid-October while the global and Garena beta test servers will launch either on the same date or towards the end of the Chinese beta. In the previous season 9 beta test, players received 5 mythic weapons for free during the limited time access. So if you are a free-to-play player who loves using mythic and legendary skills, but can't afford them, this is a great opportunity to enjoy free access to those legendary weapons. That's all I needed to cover in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.